so this is an interesting article. Tesla owner says he was left stranded on Christmas Eve because his vehicle would not charge. Now, it could be a myriad of other things. It could be the temperature. I'm having, for me, my experience with having an, uh, a plug-in vehicle, or should I say a fully electric vehicle, especially when it's really, really cold, the charging takes a lot longer than it, was, than it would if it was warmer outside. Um, to give you an example, now, certain times to charge, I usually get off work, you know, early in the morning, you know, because I work graveyard, so, sort of. But um, when I get off work, when I want to go utilize the fast charging at Electrify America, um, that I can get up to 300 kilowatts. I think the max is 350 kilowatts. Now, that's the one I plug into my car. Usually, when it's a warm weather, I can be charged, fully charged from like 15% um, all the way to about 80% in about 18 minutes. And that's fucking fast. Now, since it's cold, sometimes it takes me a lot longer than that, depending on how many, you know, what percentage my battery is at. So if it's like 15%, it'll take me um, sometimes 37 minutes to 40 minutes to charge and the highest i'll get is like 115 kilowatt i'll have to do a little bit of a short video for you guys to show you how it acts when it's extremely cold so i'll have to wait and until you know it's very very cold outside and show you how long it, char it takes to charge and the downside is you can't run your vehicle's ac or your climate because then it would take it would start making sound and the car actually warns you like not to do that. Well, my car warns me. It's the Ionic 5. In case you weren't aware, you haven't watched my other videos, I suggest you do that. Um, it takes a little bit longer to charge. But when I'm even when I'm using just a level two charger, the 240, um, 240 volts, it takes <laughs> it'll take even way longer than that when it's extremely cold outside too. So instead of being fully charged from, uh, from let's just say 20%, um, it'll take me like, you know, usually it takes me about eight hours or so on the uh, 240 volt, but it will take me about, I think it says like 12 hours or 14 hours or something like that, something crazy like that on a 240 volt. Um, usually, usually it'll take about eight to nine hours to charge on the level two charger but when it's extremely cold it, the times are almost doubled almost doubled especially on the um on the even when you're using the fast charge um now when i plug it in on the 150 kilowatt it takes i want to say it'll go about 75 kilowatts um that's being on the high side and then to about 60 kilowatt charging back my battery and it just it just takes it just takes longer when it's cold outside but in the summertime it's extremely fast it works like how it should be but when it's cold outside it takes a lot longer um, you have to be out there a little bit longer and then you can't use your ac either or or your heater i don't know why i say ac you can't use your heater because it'll make sound i guess that's what the car tells me so i, I don't do it i don't use the the heater so i have to freeze there for like 30 five minutes 40 minutes however long it takes to charge but anyway that's besides the point let's go ahead and talk about this um video let me click that all right so here we are tesla owner says he was left stranded on christmas eve after car wouldn't charge in the cold so let me make sure that i have my um my desktop audio for you guys so you guys can hear the video that i'm about to play as well all right here we go this will not charge outside. in the cold I stranded have on Christmas Eve. miles left before the battery is dead. Yesterday I tried this and it said to wait for the battery to warm up. I have had the car running with the climate control. I tried to charge in my house. It won't let me. So there is no way to charge this battery or let it warm up in the cold. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to show you. This is the message I get. Battery is heating, keep charge cable inserted. Okay. It's 111, one hour later. Battery is heating, 
Keep charge cable inserted. 19 miles. 303, almost two hours later. Battery is heating. 19 miles. And it's Christmas Eve. All right, now, it can be a myriad of different things. Um, it could be the battery. Um, it could be it could be pretty much anything because I know Tesla has improved their batteries drastically from what it used to be and it has a heater in you know to heat up the batteries so you can start charging or be able to go to fast charging now there is a upside to this video which I will play for you guys now and then uh, we'll finish it off Tesla this morning update. I got a call from Tesla and they are aware of my situation and they are sending me a Model 3 and to use in the meantime. And here it comes. That's my loaner. And they're going to tow my car two hours away to Richmond, Virginia. And they're going to see what they could do about it. They're going to let me use this and tow my car to the Tesla service center in Richmond and see uh, what the issue is. I had to Uber to this location. They said that they would reimburse me for the Uber. So it sounds like they are trying to accommodate me and fix the situation. My car is now charging at a rate of five kilowatts an hour. It has added uh, 18 miles in two days. Let's see, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And this is the kind of speed to expect, but not this slow, even for me. Um, so there is obviously something wrong with the vehicle. Now, the only thing I can think of that Tesla is taking them, taking care of them so fast is because the video has over 1 million views. A lot of people have seen it and I'm sure it came across, um, <laughs> Tesla's view or wherever, you know, somebody might've tweeted them or whatever. And they were like, oh shit, we got to do something. And the problem with Tesla's is, um, they, you can't take it anywhere else. Nobody else will service their vehicles. They, it has to be gone through Tesla, and that's one of the downside of purchasing a Tesla. You can't take it to anybody to try to diagnose the problem and see what is actually going on. You have to take it back to Tesla. So if you are out of warranty, you're pretty much SOL, pretty much. That's, that's, that's it. You're, you're fucked. It did nothing for 48 hours, and then somehow it just started charging very very slowly so we're gonna see what happens and uh, tesla has called me several times today and this towing company has been great so uh, i'm going to keep you updated on the progress it's a model three it's not an s but uh but yeah so it's just with with the electric car you have it its issues um sometimes <laughs> life happens um so like i said even the only thing that he didn't do is he didn't try to use other other supercharge maybe there's something wrong with that supercharge that could be the the issue with the supercharge i don't know i'm just assuming here so don't go all crazy on me all right i know how you guys get you guys are loyal tesla fans i know how you guys are um but it's not just Tesla. EVs have issues charging in the cold, even if they have like the preconditioning. My car, unfortunately, does not have the preconditioning, so I am fucked. Um, I just have to wait there however long it takes to charge, but I've never had an issue where it charges that slowly unless I'm using a level two charger. Then it charges extremely, extremely slow, but I charge overnight, so I have no problem waiting 10, 12 hours to be fully charged. But anyway, thank you guys again for watching the video, for sticking around. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. I will leave a link if you want to go check out or follow this story, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.